Hello there, today I'd like to talk about uh, hydraulics and this is going to be a basic hydraulic tutorial where I'm going to cover how to build hydraulics, how to adjust them, uh, what contraction versus expansion is, um, and essentially how to put your hydraulic at a, an appropriate angle to actually lift your drawbridge up. Um, I will be creating a second video as well, which will be a more advanced uh, hydraulic tutorial. So, the first thing we have is, um, I've played this level, I've used the unlimited budget um, tweak. And so, the, if you build your hydraulics, you've got, your hydraulic is this blue thing here. And you've got an arrow in here. If you click and slide this around, it goes. You can everything between the two points here are, are to contract. And once you extend it past the node, then you can expand your hydraulic. Um, moving the arrow to one side is the exact same as the opposite side. Notice when I'm down here, it says expand 50%. And when I'm at the top, it says expand 50%. These are both the exact same value. So everything past, the, um, in this example, below the middle is the exact same as everything above the middle. So first thing I'd like to do is um, I'd like to talk about what the expansion and contraction is. Uh, contraction is simply the hydraulic gets smaller, while the expansion is the hydraulic gets larger. Um, both of these are now um, free hanging from the middle of my bridge. So you can see when I run this simulation, um, what exactly the hydraulic does. This one here will get smaller, while the one on the other side will grow larger. There we go. So, um, the so the 50% is the maximum amount of contraction you can do. If you want, you can make something a smaller contraction like this right here. We'll change it to 25%. Uh, one thing I'll do is I'll create a steel rod here. This will represent our original length. Um, so this is the line that it re represents the original length. When this says 50%, what that means is this is 50% of the original length of the hydraulic. So, then, whoops. So when I play this, you will see that the 50% hydraulic will go to about this point. and the 25% will go to this other point. So I'm going to create cables across here so you can see, actually, I said this wrong. The 25% one will, so we're going to take off 20%. It's not going to subtract the two 25%, so we're going to subtract 25% off the total length. So what you're going to be left with is 75% of the total. So 50% will contract, contract to here, and the 25 will contract to here. So let's see if that turns out to be true. All right, so you see that fits in there exactly. So um, the other thing you have is you have the other thing you have to consider is that this is referring to 50% of the total length of your starting length here of your hydraulic. So if my hydraulic is only half the length, then the amount it's going to compress is smaller than the, a hydraulic that is longer. So both of these are currently set to 50%. And you will see that this one on the left will contract, will contract at the same distance all the way to the middle, and this one will contract 50% as well. But if you notice the distance covered 
is greater for the one for the hydraulic that is longer. Now, expansion works in basically the same way. Um, if I change this to expand 50%, create another hydraulic in here. Whoop. And we create this one to expand, say, 25%. The one that's expanding 50% will expand a greater distance. So what the 50% is, is that the, it will, the amount, the length of the hydraulic here will expand, it will add 50% of its original length. So the original length of this hydraulic here is uh, this is two meters, so it's going to expand one meter, and I think no, this is four meters, so it's just going to expand two meters. So I should have built these little things before I started. All right. All right. So this one. Half the distance here on the top part. Half the distance here was going to be expanded to reach the bottom. This one that I've set the 25%, it's going to take 25% of this original length and expand by 20% amount, 25%. So therefore, this hydraulic on the left will expand down to this this lower cable, while the hydraulic on the right will expand to this label. Notice that once again on the right we're expanding to 20, expanding 25%, and on the left we're expanding 50%. All right, and once again with a shorter hydraulic will not expand nearly as much. So setting both of this to, both of these to expand 50%. Once again, the one on the right will go to this lower cable, and the one on the left will go to this cable right here. Right, so that's basically all there is to know about the expanding and contraction of the hydraulics and how the math essentially works out. Um, the next thing to do is to actually implement this into a bridge. So um, right here I've got two sides of this bridge and um, both of these sets of hydraulics are set to expand to 50 percent and they're both going to move different distances. Notice the one on the left is going to only move to about the half the height here. The one on the right moves to half the height of the original, but it's moving much further than the one on the left. So if I decrease this one to 25%, then both the left side and the right side will be pretty much the exact same. Um, I hope I haven't done this. So uh, that is because 25% of is half of what the half the distance this hydraulic on the left is half the length of the hydraulic on the right. So 25% of this larger one is equivalent to 50% of this. You should lift up to be about the same amount. And it looks like so. That is true. All right. Uh, the next thing that you might do is that you need to concern yourself with is the angle in which you lift your hydraulic. Um, if you pull back from a, I guess, more aggressive angle, then you can lift your, you can lift the hydraulic or the bridge part further. And I, so this here will pull further than it did even when it was at maximum length. 
So as you can see here, the hydraulic can go further. This is maximum length here. And here it's shorter than maximum length, so the hydraulic is shrinking less than it was when it was up here. However, the bridge is still, is, or the side is lifting further. So I'm going to try to demonstrate that a little further. Um, we're going to create a more aggressive angle. And these, these two sides are approximately the same length. They're not quite. They're both expanding 50%. But this one will go well, way, or up to about vertical, a little past that, while the other one doesn't go nearly as far. Conversely, if I have, if I'm pulling straight up, then the uh, hydraulic will not move the bridge nearly as much. Okay, that one actually broke, so um, essentially what happened here is that once it got, once it contracted so much that the distance from here to here was less than your length of your rope plus your hydraulics. So if I move this down, it shouldn't break here. Alright, but you can see this doesn't go up nearly as much which is the idea. Um, the other thing I did that I uh, forgot to mention is your split joints, which you create by double clicking on an item. Um, that is where your two sides of your bridge split up. Um, the game automatically guesses as to what, you th what it thinks you want to do. And the way it does that is it takes everything to the right of the split joint and assigns that to one number and everything to the left and signs it to another number. So you can see here that I've got one and one on the left and two and two on the right. And when I keep creating items that move off to the right, this is two. Now when you do create a vertical item, it, it's still guessing. So right now it said that it wants to go to one. Um, I thought it said two before. Um, okay. And then this is all right, so then it's two below. So, um, so whenever you are creating your hydraulics, if you're having um, funny things happen, then you may need to zoom in to where you see these numbers, and then you can adjust the amount. Um, all right, and I thought there was had something else on my mind about this. Oh. So essentially, it's kind of hard to show, but say you had wood pieces here that you wanted to have on all attached to the right and then you move up the left piece. So therefore, you, if you want to have these three pieces, these are all going to stay connected and these two pieces are going to be connected together. So therefore, when you run this, then this will not move, and it'll lift this whole thing up. If you didn't, if you did not adjust the split joint, then this will just break this piece here. Once it, um, one last thing is when you're on a the anchors, which are the red points, when you create the split joint, then you have um, this will be green and red as opposed to all green, and when you do that. Everything that you want to stay connected to the anchor point, it needs to be a one. So if I do this right here, let me, uh, then this bridge will not fall off. Everything stays connected. Um, if I change everything here to two, then the whole bridge is going to just fall and swing down into the uh, left side. All right. Well, I hope that uh, gives you a good start on hydraulics. Uh, in my next video, I'm going to discuss um, attaching your hydraulics to different points on your road or different areas. I'm going to discuss moving larger sections of road. I'm going to discuss mul linking multiple hydraulics together to work as a group. 
and then I'm going to discuss essentially levers and torque and how that affects um, the efficiency of your hydraulics and how likely something is to break. All right, well, I hope that was really helpful to you, and I hope you watch the next video as well.